So now you have love, unconditional love, <laughs> self-love. I hate that word. I hate that phrase, self-love. Self-acceptance. I like that better. That has to come first. Then you can love yourself. Oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. So you should be, um, you absolutely should unconditionally love yourself and forgive yourself and, and accept your mistakes and and if you feel like a fool, you should just laugh it off. You should just really say to yourself, you know what? Whatever. I don't really care. I'm good. I love myself. I accept me for who I am. If other people don't, that's their problem. Okay, so let's take a look. But there's also passion, effect, affection, and attraction. A whole world of it. Let me see. Okay, Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like there's I feel like there's an energy of um giving. Making a huge change and giving back. Okay, let's see. What does this mean? Leaving something in the past. Okay. Knight of Wands. Temperance is here again. This is going to be the theme for you. There's um, spirits working in your life. You're going to be... Whew, you're, you're going to be in some type of a committed relationship. But this is also kind of following the rules. Rules and regulations is what I feel. Um, of uh, You're committing to something. Or someone's committing to you. And again, we have a major arcana. It could be Taurus, could be Sagittarius. Um, there's also Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio energy. So there is this, uh, I just heard, and I don't know whose voice this is. It might be yours, it could be somebody else's, but I, I hear somebody saying, I think I've just met an angel. I think I've just met an angel. Okay. The, th the funny thing about this is there's no cup energy except for the two cups that the angel on temperance is holding. And I feel like there's a, there's like an angel or guardian angel working behind the scenes to bring that two of cups energy into your life during this time period for sure. If, if, let's see. But there, like, Knight of Wands, I mean, there's passion. Whew. And these are double Sag cards here, so there could be a Sag. Uh, let me see. Um, I'm also hearing you walking away from something and slowly giving time, taking your time, and slowly giving your time to one or two other people. But one of them is like hot to trot for you. One of them is hot. And this is something that can turn into a committed union. Okay. And maybe you walk. What did you walk away from here? You might be just kind of in this place where you're learning to love yourself again. You're walking away from chasing. That's what you're doing. Or being assertive. And being assertive in what? Oh, with the King of Swords, okay? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, but it's someone who... Um, they're kind of cold inside. They do wear a cloak with purple there is a bit of loyalty and passion connected to this king of swords but with the with their their undergarment being so like a cool blue this person has a very logical airy mind i don't know virgo i kind of feel like you might have been trying to assert yourself on a relationship in the past and it looks like you're starting a brand new new beginning 
in your life here is just beginning to occur, you know, in this time period. Um, King of Swords, masculine or feminine energy. I feel like some of you are getting back out there, maybe dating or talking to others. Um, but you're you're being generous with your time. But you um, are not giving all of your time to one person. It looks like it looks like there might be some people who want to um, be in your energy and not. I mean, yeah, maybe beg for or they're they're pleading for the opportunity to talk to you. Okay, um, and with the scales there, I feel like you're just kind of balancing. You're not giving too much. You're dropping breadcrumbs. <laughs> Maybe you're leaving a trail um, to your oven. <laughs> so someone's going to respond. That's how I feel. Okay. Now I just saw the, the King of Cups and the Star. Okay. So let's see. Maybe the King of Cups could be one of these people that you have a conversation with this person falls in love with you going forward they think you're a star you're either a, a superstar or a ghetto star <laughs> ghetto superstar um yeah the king of cups is going to make a love offer to you and they're hoping you're going to accept but understand a love offer is you know from the knight of cups is very sweet um, but it's not sustainable. Do you know what I mean? It's a positive energy. Maybe even a wish come true. Joy, joyfulness and happiness. And the opportunity to go. So, oh, that's so weird. Right when I looked at this card, I just saw John Travolta. I saw Danny and Sandy in that 57 Chevy at the end of Greece going up into the air. And Sandy's in the waving goodbye. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know what's wrong with my brain today. It's weird stuff. I get all, I'm getting hyper um, imagery. I feel like there's a King of Cups here that they like, kind of wants to just wave goodbye to everybody and you two go off into the sunset together, is what I'm hearing. Would be a wish come true for them if you chose them. That's a reconciliation kind of thing for some of you reconnecting with this person. I feel like they, I don't know, I saw two people there. But I do see, like I was saying, it is it is two people because there are two knights. But the thing is, I don't feel like either one of them at this time, maybe later, is really sustainable. You know what I mean? It could especially with the temperance card here i feel like um there's a lot of confusion here because nothing is set in stone as far as your love life goes and if there's two people you might be giving more of your time to one than the other now i know that's not going to resonate for all of you there are some that are going to be like yes okay um now for some of you it could be that you've got two people one who is still trying to have time with you but you've walked away from them the king of swords and now you're giving some time to the king um, of cups very well could be that energy but i do feel like there's something brewing behind the scenes that you can't see in regards to that king of cups and but that's happening going forward. Let me see. Oh, okay. Yeah, look at the ghost. Like what I just said. Like you can't see it. It. This is all kind of that energy of like, what the hell's going on? Am I dreaming? Something odd. I feel like there's a lot of doubt in your love life. Okay. Um. Got the wheel of fortune here. It's like you maybe you, Virgo. Do you feel lucky and you don't know why? Are you getting that feeling like 
I feel like something's brewing and I feel lucky, like something good is going to come. Something good's on the way, but I can't see it yet. That's what I feel like's happening here. It's almost like I just, they keep giving me like that Hansel and Gretel with the breadcrumbs. Like you're following some kind of breadcrumb trail. Not actual, you know, like the phrase, somebody's breadcrumbing me. I feel like you're kind of, maybe you're dropping the breadcrumbs. I don't know what you're doing, Virgo. Maybe you're breadcrumbing someone or some people. A couple people. You're, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't, I don't mean that I don't know. I just... I just kind of feel like there, this whole thing is leading to something and you like it's in your favor but there's too much um confusion and can you tell because even i am feeling confused let me see okay so there's some really sweet communication coming to you maybe even an apology okay Someone's been thinking about apologizing to you for something. But it, look, look at you. You got the fool. Aquarius energy. I don't know, Virgo. You, uh, did you free yourself from something and you might not even care? For some of you, I feel like that's the energy. You freed yourself and you're just kind of like, it's whatever. It's I'm going off this cliff later. Uh, I don't see. Okay. Wow. There may be a king of wands showing up, giving you some kind of like inspiration to leave or to start something new. I feel like, you know what? We've got, do we, no, right here, we've got all three kings. So there's king of swords in the past. There's a king of cups in the present. And there's a king of wands that's kind of coming in new here. All while you're in the midst of loving yourself. And... <laughs> in the last reading really loving yourself so yeah there's some oh man look options three options which one of the which you know someone keeps trying them though someone's someone's i feel like the king of, uh, king of wands is going to keep trying try after try after try to give their cup of love to you and you're undecided um not undecided in the sense of like I don't know what to do but like maybe I don't know what to choose or I don't know how to tell someone no it could be that too I don't want to hurt somebody I'm just gonna kind of ignore it or act like I'm not interested just so that you're not like the bad girl or the bad guy does that make sense I hope this makes sense because I swear I don't know what the hell's going on okay I just want to get some messages of love here because this was so much. I just feel like a lot of confusion. And it's always more so whenever we have um, more court cards. So you've got interference, external party, intruding on a relationship. Uh, there could be a third party or you just have like three choices because you got three different kings here kings or queens three different options some of you are just like let them come to me i'm too busy over here loving myself let them come to me or let them you know if, if i see any signs that someone's showing interest then okay i'll see i kind of feel like that's your energy you've got finances financial challenges are affecting a particular connection so there might be somebody in this reading who is just like can't make a move because if they're broke i'm hearing could be you could be another person there's also forgiveness so <clears throat> remember i was saying there's an apology so somebody might be coming in and asking for your forgiveness and there might be strong chemistry with that person like a strong attraction it's interesting, Virgo, because I don't even know if you're seeking an apology for, from someone or not even sure that you need to have an apology from someone. I just They just said get one of the Cosmic Insight messages. Okay. There's something in here for you. All right. Manifest. 
Tell the universe exactly what you want. Okay, so that might have something to do with this confusion because you're not sure. You're not either sure what you want or either sure about what you don't want. And so universe is like, all right, well, you have some kind of like love arrhythmia. So we're just going to, you know, you're an AFib with your heart. So we're just going to keep throwing love balls at you. And whenever one sticks, hopefully you'll pick. I kind of feel like you're, <laughs> it's like playing whack-a-mole. You know what I mean? Like, okay, this person pops up, bam. This person pops up, bam. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I should go back to someone, if I should keep entertaining someone right now, or if I, if I should let someone new come in. But all the while, it has a lot to do with you telling the universe exactly what you want and getting clear with yourself. At least you're loving yourself. You know, at least you're like in the position of doing that and giving yourself the unconditional love. That, because of anything, the first person you need to be loving is yourself. Okay? And I feel like, that's a really strong message. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life.